Hey guys, John Luxie here, back with our playthrough of Legend of Mana. So last time we left off, we did um, a couple more quests. We did like the Mindus Ruins quest, the Tea Time of Danger, which is great. This time, hopefully, we'll be able to do three quests, uh, but we'll see. All right, so right now, first thing first. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to take Bud with us. Bud, what's up, buddy? Hey, take me on a search for them. Yes. Now you're talking. We're actually going to do part of the Great Wisdoms quest. Um, probably my favorite of the Wisdoms is fairly difficult to find. It only shows up in a few places. And basically during quests and you need Bud with you. You kind of have to know in advance. All right, bottled spirits. <laughs> Not quite what I expected, right? It's like you put a bottle down that supposedly has a spirit inside and it turns into a cave that's just a mine? I, I guess. All right. <clears throat> the Ulkin Mines. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to hear this tune a few times. All right. Rust. Ah, let's fight some enemies right real fast. Mole Bear. I think it's a Mole Bear. It's just easier to cheese it like this. It's less fun, obviously. Honest, uh, ah, honestly. And now we're getting five experience per crystal. So a little bit of a boost. Hey, it's Pokiel. If you didn't bring Bud here, you wouldn't know. You'd just see this weird dude. Weird bird thing. I'm Bud. I came to listen to the wisdoms to become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. The goddess is always doing her best to help us. All we need to do is find out what she has done for us. Thanks, Pokiel. Good day. I am Pokiel the Storyteller. He doesn't advertise himself as a wisdom. He's just like, I'm a storyteller. The master is away. He is probably out mining deep in the dungeon. Mind your own business. Basically, yes. Let me tell you of Watts' heroic exploits when he comes back. All right. Yeah, Watts is one of the staples of this series as well. Take Watts back to his shop. Indeed. So, right, that little part of the Seven Wisdoms quest is now complete, but we're going to keep Bud with us. Um... Oh, right, right, right. I forgot. More animal meat. I don't... I don't remember where he is, to be honest. It's Duel. Watts leaves the shop a bit too often, I think. Yeah. Good to know. Underground level one. This actually goes down like three levels. And it's fairly confusing, but hopefully it won't be too bad. What am I? Whirl? Oh yeah. Whirl is actually pretty handy. It's basically you, you like spin them around and away from you. And then backflip or back roll or something.
And I just run, just run everywhere. Abandoned room. Uh, yeah, I think this is the right one. I believe that's the right one for later. It's dark, but you know. Almost all of these little side rooms that you're like, hmm, this is odd. You'll be coming back to those. Maybe, eventually. It's, it's weird. <sighs> all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I have the controller, or microphone, not controller. A little bit closer to me because I think the last time the boss battle music was a little bit loud. I mean, you could still hear me, but it was definitely a little bit louder than I would have liked. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Maybe this way? Uh, maybe. That didn't seem to actually do a whole lot. And candy. Sorry, bud. I don't know what he's doing there. He's like rocking back and forth with his... Uh... Oh, did you miss them? Oh, yeah, that's one of the problems with magic. Oh, they're asleep. Yeah, see, magic does pretty, or it can be pretty decent. Maybe this is the right way. I, I, uh, yeah, dub. What's up, dude? Yeah, since this is blocked off, this probably should be the right way. Preventing you from getting too lost. The rest of the dungeon will open up later, and then it becomes far more, uh, far larger. Get him! I think it sucked my blood. But, I mean, they are ticks, so... Yeah, see, Whirl is great for, like, if an enemy's in your way, you're trying to grab something. Like, let me get that bag, you stupid enemy. And you're just like, zoop. Flips it around and pushes it away from you. I just don't use this stuff very often, because at least on normal, I kill things. Eventually, we'll kill it pretty fast. I'm just excited to get my first instrument, because I really want to see... You know, maybe I'll just... I don't want to stick with the staff, but... I really want to see how magic... It, it's never really been great for me, but... But they say for every point, like if you're using the staff to level... Every point of magic allegedly boosts it by 20%, which is... A lot. But then it screws you for everything else later. Although that that doesn't really matter as much because you can make stuff that will you can make um like rings that increase everything by twenty. Here we go. Oh, what's that up there? I'm busy, you. Come back later. Stop it, you. Let me be. This is Watts, by the way. Now he's a he's like de-aged throughout the series. So now he's basically a toddler. I said cut it out. This place is dangerous. You best be on your way. Uh yeah. Well. So this is Laban, right? Yeah. Kind of an interesting boss. Because it's one of those where 
you actually damage its health by killing its little pieces. So every time you kill one of its pieces, it takes off a set chunk of the main boss's health. Now this thing basically has two pieces. And while they're attached, they have their own attacks. Right, then you, you just hit them once, and they uh, become their own little independent monster, and have different attacks. Oh, right, my uh, controls are reversed. Okay, so we're going to stay away from that thing. Because when the second one, there's the physical one and then there's the magic one. When that one drops, it basically self-destructs and potentially will kill you. And then it takes a second to come back. Oh. Alright, well it's casting as well. Alright, well, my magic's up, so that's good. That'll help with... There we go. Thing is, I don't think it'll hit the other piece. Oh, man. He almost... Does it say what these are? No, just Laban. So yeah, if you if you can. If you can, just There we go. Maybe we'll be able to hit it and knock it down. I mean the one on the right is definitely It's great. You know, because it falls and then it's uh Man, you just cannot catch a break. Yeah, that might be it. It can't spawn another one, because it costs... It costs life to respawn them, I guess. So once we kill this one, it should die. So, the interesting thing about the little combo system as I understand it, is if you do these little combos and you have the blue attacks, it will, you know, you do enough of them, it'll lock you in place, and then you won't be able to move, right? Because you've exhausted your combo. But also stuns the enemy when you do that, or it can. But if you just poke at him and not use your combo, then you can stun lock him. So it's... It's like death from a thousand pokes versus the ability to unleash your big attacks and... Potentially one-shot him when you're strong enough. What are you doing in a place like this? Mining is good here, but there's a ferocious monster about. Go home. Defeated it. Already defeated it? You? You must be joking. I love his walking animation, though. It's like he walks and his head bobs and the helmet kind of... Why, you're the one I saw back in the dungeon. Yes. Well, who cares about that, right? Well, I'm busy right now, so just make yourself at home. Uh, ahem. Well then, now that he is here, allow me to tell you of Watts' heroic exploits. Ladies and gentlemen, Pokiel presents Watts' bravery. Oh, Watts, a small buddy under a great helm. He strikes with his hammer. Uh, and his great helm. Watts... Our Watts, your soul is your great helm. Watts, Watts, our Watts, you haven't really done that much. The end. Shut it, you. <laughs> no story to tell. You get artifact Moon's Mirror. Oh yeah. Mind your own business. He looks like a caveman. 
like a caveman toddler. It's even mind your own business, right? Because we were the one that disturbed him and therefore triggered the monster. So if we had mind our own business, we wouldn't have fought the monster, I guess. Anyway, now that we've updated the quest and uh, updated the Seven Wisdoms quest and done one of those quests, we'll head back home, talk to a little cactus, and then on to the next one. There's actually three quests right now that we want to do involving Watts. See ya! What's up, little cactus? How was Tale of Heroics? Uh... Underwhelming. To be honest. I wonder what kind of pen he's writing on. Or is he just like carving into the leaves? Alright. Uh, mining business. The Birdman says Watts doesn't have any heroic stories to tell. I wish someone would come up with a story about me. He moves like lightning. He kicks monster butts. I think I like that. I'd read it. I'd read it. Alright, so... Let's check out this stuff. Characters... We met a few, right? Um, Pokiel. The Poet of Truth. He is one of the Seven Wisdoms and was a hero who was called the Messenger of the Cosmic Truth. You can't really tell, but his stuff is very... All these characters are, are very overly designed, but, you know, that's... Like, there's feathers everywhere, and he has, like, singing birds at the top of his hat, little baby birds. Watts, a master blacksmith who becomes so absorbed when working that he often forgets things. Yes. Yes, he does. Uh, what else? That's all for that. Uh, we want the mines. The Ulcan mines have been abandoned for ages. Now only curious weaponsmiths hunt for ore, for a suspicious gang is based here. We're going to meet them soon. All right. What else did we get? The moon's mirror. The mages of antiqui antiquity would pour water onto the mirror and reflect the moon and stars to learn of mankind's fate from the heavens. It's a uh, divination device, basically. Um, yeah, okay. Let's actually, let's kind of look through the techniques real fast. Uh, right, so we got counterattack and I think taunt. Those are later ones. We're missing quite a few, but... And slide. And then, uh... All these are different. Right, so we've gotten these four for the staff. Oh yeah, I think you I think you start with paint it black if you pick the staff. Not gust, which is the technically the first in the list. It's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but it's alright. Alright, so next. Excellent. Got a citrus squid. Whale amato. Here soon, probably get our special seed. The thing is, it, it feels really meaningless to get a lot of these stuff, because it's like, well, what do we use the produce for? We're not going to use it for anything. You know, like I said, you really could... I'm sure if you know what you're doing and you spend the time, and maybe luck as well, um... You could make your you could make your monsters really overpowered, but 
you know, but... Yeah, I don't know. Big, small... I will give him some big seeds. We have the most of these, and it seems like they take the longest to grow, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so let's... We'll go, we'll save, and then we'll go hit up uh, the mines again. Let's go talk to Watts. You know, technically I think that's a shop. We maybe should buy a better staff. Um... I don't know if we have the money for it, though. At the moment. Save over that. Don't call me Chumpy. My name's Chumpy. It's fine. One day, the legend of Chumpy... The legend of Chumpy will ring forth. You know, it occurs to me now that since I got the PS1 emulator working, I have a binder full of all my PS1 games. There's a... You know, and, and for me at least, one of the big reasons to do the channel is it's letting me beat games that I, that either I wouldn't play normally or haven't beaten. And so it's like, we're not gonna, don't examine that yet. We'll examine it in a second, but we gotta do something first. Um. Watts. So I could look through the binder, excuse me, and um, you know, find find games that I haven't played, um, like Valkyrie Profile. Never beat that one. Didn't get very far. I I vaguely remember I kept fighting these like giant dragon heads and really having a hard time, like undead heads of dragons, and just really, really sucking. I lost my trusty hammer, so my work isn't going well, well at all. If you see it anywhere, please give it back to me, will you? Yes. Much thanks. If you'd get just get my hammer back, why, I'd teach you how to blacksmith. Deal. Watts drops the hammer. Right, so we can buy, uh, and he sells iron stuff, which I think they do in Gato as well. Yeah. I mean, we could get boots or something, but eh, we won't worry about it. For now, let's get a staff, because it's a little bit stronger. Just because. I mean, we have 11 levels to go, and I would like to... You know. I don't have anything else that I can equip. I can equip the ring, but... Let's not. I don't really want to share experience at the moment. All right, so we have to find his hammer. And in exchange, he'll teach us how to blacksmith, which is what we want. We want the forge. Um, search for Watch's lost hammer. Cool. So you can... I mean, he dropped it in the mines somewhere. Dudbear Express. This takes you to the bottom of the dungeon. Remember that gang they were talking about? The Diggers. The Diggers Hideout. Dubba. Dubba. Oh, did we find Dudbears? In the characters? Do they not have a, an entry? Maybe they don't. Arf! If you're wondering what this thing is, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll look up in a minute. It's basically a dog, but it's wearing, like, masks and clothing and stuff. So the hammer's right here. Found the hammer. But, let's check out this book. A book of poems. Do you want to read it? Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Why do you twinkle the way you do? Are you laughing because you're just too happy? 
Or is it the cold wind making you shiver? Hey! You! Don't go read my poems like that! Okay. I am Roger, leader of the diggers. Well, ahem. Do you have any, you know, opinion? Not really, it's great, or is there more? About the palms, I'll say is there more. Really? You want more? Well then, I guess I'll just have to show you more. Here I go. The hole and I. I am a hole in the ground. I am a hole that rainwater cannot fill. All the digging I have done has left me so... empty. I dig and dig to find that something my heart is searching for. Oh, Mana Goddess, what have you hidden in the ground for me? Brilliant gems? Useless junk? I will dig, dig, and dig for the Goddess's treasure. I will dig until my life reaches its end. Find salvation through labor. Salvation through labor. Don't let me do it again. Alright, thanks, pal. So that's Roger. I'm Roger, leader of the diggers. Do you have any, you know, opinion? Uh, I'll say it's great. You think so too? That wasn't so bad, was it? All right, we're out of here. So now we're at the bottom of the dungeon, so we have to get out. It's easy enough to get down there with the Dudbear Express, but uh, candy. I'll take it. So now our hit points have, they've filled up the bar and they're a little bit, there's a second bar growing on top of it. Ow. Ow, a lot, because it took, what, 15% of our life off with one hit, basically? I think right is the way out of here, so let's go left. Or maybe not, maybe right is... Yeah, I guess left maybe is the way out. Get out of my way! Juggernaut. I think that's a hammer. No, it's a flail. Pretty strong, 20. But then again, the staff that we've got is not... We have a fairy. The light is within the darkness. The light is within the darkness. That's... Uh, you know, it seems cryptic, and it basically is, but it's sort of relevant for the final boss. You know, the whole, the whole light versus shadow thing, and light and darkness and stuff. Get some odd meat. Don't eat it. All right, back up here. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> right, so we're here. That's so we're not that far off from where we started. It's basically the to get back. It's the one right above the the save point. There are, I mean, there's more to the dungeon to the to the right. But but yeah. Um, and I think that's the abandoned room. Which, so when you need to go there later, it's maybe faster just to go to the digger's hideout. And then, um... Basically just go north. Wow, that was a... Salvation through labor! I don't know why, I mean... It, it kind of explains the, the meaning of that motto. You know, it's like you believe that the, the mana goddess have, has, you know, given you stuff. Or, or put stuff in the ground. And it's like you, you find it. And maybe it brings you salvation, maybe not. Or, or whatever. Maybe that, I mean, that's... I don't think I'm explaining it right, but... You know, he's always... 
he's always searching, right? It's kind of like gambling in a way. It's like, what is, what's in the ground? All right, Watts, we're back here. We brought your hammer, dude. Whoa, that's my hammer. Give it back, you. Youngsters these days will take anybody's things. That's not what I meant. Gwahahaha. I forgot I asked you to bring it back. Please forget what I said. Don't hate me. So he looks like a toddler, but he's like old and, and maybe going senile. It's kind of interesting. All right, so. And that's kind of what the map looks like for now. And that was us, by the way, down there. Let's go back to the home. And as always, immediately go straight to Little Cactus. Because you can trigger another quest here if you don't know what you're doing and then lose. Although technically, I mean, even though it's missable, right? Um, you know. Hammer. I mean, it's not this one. The quest we just did is not permanently missable. You just new game plus it and then you're good. All right, still doing well. Still doing well. Mining business, flame of hope. Watts his hammer. Watts lost his hammer, but my master found it for him. Doesn't it feel good to do good things? It would be nice if master could read me a story once in a while. Please? Oh. Oh. It's <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, we'll check out the... Check out this. Because ah. we didn't get anything necessarily from that, but we met a couple new characters, I think. Did we do Watts? Yeah, we did. Uh, Roger and Putty. Roger, he met his true fate when he found divinity within his pet dog, Putty, while working as a miner with dud bears. Since then, he has become a man of faith. Interesting. Putty, Roger's pet dog, he was made into a religious icon, but he is just a dog. Poor doggy. And... That is all. Um, yeah. All right, let's hit up the orchard real fast. I mean, I guess we could check on the the, the monsters, but it doesn't doesn't matter a whole lot. We got some more boar melon. We got this thing, whatever this is, cabadillo. Basically, all the things that are growing right now are green and round. Yay! Well. Yeah, I think we've, um... Yeah. We talked to him before and there's like five things growing now, so any we can't really give him any seeds at the moment. Alright, workshops. So now you may notice what used to be just a couple stone slabs here looks like an anvil on top of a pot. Whoa! I just finished making the blacksmith he asked for. Bah, youngsters these days don't know the meaning of gratitude. I? You never asked me? Great Scott, so why did I... Oh, now I get it. Gwahahaha. I got so caught up in building the smithy, I forgot to... I came to thank you. Please forget what I just said. Don't hate me. I'll tell you how to make weapons, so have a heart. Right, first come on in. The Path of the Blacksmith.
That's it. You've got it. It's all in the hammer. The right hit makes the right sound. It's all in the hammer. Keep doing that for about a million strikes and you'll be a right craftsman. So continue, stop, or ask a question. We'll just continue for now. That's the spirit. Give it a million strikes. Every time you continue, basically, I guess he says that. Let's ask a question first. I think, I think you can just stop. But let's ask questions. Forging, altering, or general tips. It's the same for both weapons and armor. Choose the materials and forge it with your hammer. However, the basic power is decided by the materials, not by your hammer and skill. You need to work on your hammer skills. One million strikes. To make alterations, you first choose an item. It may affect the ability bonuses and elemental property levels, depending on the mystic powers contained therein. That, that all depends on the item, not your blacksmithing. You need to work on your hammer skills. One million strikes. General tips. Choosing materials. The effect that the materials have is really quite simple. You can tell by looking at the various statistics after you forge something. It will come naturally after making a few pieces. You can't change the materials properties using your hammer, I'm afraid. One million, you need to work on your hammer skills. One million strikes. It's funny because he's like, your hammering does not do anything to the stuff, but keep working on your hammer skills. Making alterations will change statistics depending on what item you use. It's like increasing attack power or changing elemental property levels. Although you can't always tell what the effect is right away, if you keep altering a piece, you'll start to see a difference. It just doesn't matter how many times it's tempered. You need to work on your hammer skills. One million strikes. Mystic powers. Minuscule changes occur through altering. And mystic powers are the embodiment of those changes. When the energy of those changes becomes strong enough, the energy of change can be brought about. And then it affects the piece's abilities and parameters. But it won't work just by hitting it with your hammer. Good job. I was lying about the million strikes. When I was a lad, my master trained me like that too. Now you're able to make any kind of weapon or armor. But you'll need materials. Since you're just starting out, I'll give you this. Minnow's Bronze. Well, I'll be going then. Good luck to you. Hmm? Did I give you materials for weapons and armor? I, I thought I brought some to give you, seeing as to how you're just starting out. We're a mercenary. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't, did I? Then I almost forgot. Since you're just starting out, I'll give you this. Boom. If you, if you say yes, he's like, all right, cool. If not, he just gives you more Manos Bronze. That's it. All right, then. Keep it up and you'll be a fine blacksmith. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. The Path of the Blacksmith, right? Just gives you one extra thing. So we're gonna run back to Little Cactus. We will um, tell him about this. And then, uh, so your, your workshops carry over to New Game Plus. So, you know, like on the Windows or PC, Steam, whatever version, if you um, if you're going for that achievement, you need to make sure you talk to the little cactus. Otherwise, you'll have to redo the game. Weapons finished. Yep. I don't think we made anything though. We just hammered a bunch. That's cool. We'll go. We should have enough clear feathers to get some money. Okay. Uh, blacksmithing. There's a new room in the backyard workshop. It's to make weapons and armors for my master to be able to whack some more little monsters. That's not nice. We should all be friends. It would be nice. All right, let's check it out. So first item, armor. Uh, we have a few, we have two wind caps. And then items. And 11 clear feathers. So that would be enough. You want four clear feathers per wind cap. So 
So first we'll check down here, because... I mean, technically when you leave, it advances time by a day. Uh, but not enough time to actually grow anything. That's okay. That's alright. Then... Let's go make some money. Into the workshops. So there used to be some barrels here, and then these two are still run down. And we just walk up automatically, it's just a menu thing. So you can forge weapon, temper a weapon, forge armor, or alter armor. Or look up your encyclopedias, figure out which weapon, armor, item you want to make or use. So this is all of your armor. Let's do the first wind cap. It's a topple cotton hat. Defense is one. Oh, let's take a look at it first, actually. Get a look at the stats. Uh, item, armor, status. Right. One defense against thrusts, technical attack level plus one, and gin essence. Then we'll temper it. Or alter it, technically. Alright, wind cap. And... Clear feather. We want... So we're gonna go down to... Seven. Ten, nine, eight, seven. And then you whack it a couple times, alter the wind cap. We're not going to look at it now. Not really. I wish there was a way you could look at it in here without just leaving. But you notice the defense is now zero. That's because the clear feathers... They're not good. They reduce everything. The Lord of Flies card. So certain items have cards. This is the little bit that I know. And what happens is... So this is technically, even though it's the third one we're doing, we're seeing the second card. Because whenever you uh, alter something, whatever you're using, there's like a hidden slot, so it's not in effect, and what happens is it'll push the other ones out of the way, so you have to... Um, it's like the three mystic powers that you can see. The fourth one is on top of that, right? So, by doing multiple clear feathers, you're basically stacking it and pushing it down, kind of like... Um, I don't know, like Tetris or something. I don't understand very much of it, but that, that one little thing, that's what I understand. Alright, so we have one wind cap. Oh, that's too much. Uh, clear feather. All right, we're going down from to three. Yes. So right now the Lord of Flies card is in there, but it's not active. Is how is how I understand this thing working? Okay, wind cap. So there it goes. You push, you stack another Lord or another clear feather, and that pushes the first one into view, basically. Which is why you get that card. There's other stuff that I really don't understand, like um, like some cards will negate other cards. 
It's just, yeah. It's probably based on that whole elemental system of, like, fire beating... Fire beating earth, earth beating air, air beats water, water beats fire and stuff. It's, it's something like that. So this should be the last one, I think. And then we'll take a look at the stats. Item... Armor... Oh, maybe not. Right, see, there you go. Lord of Flies. I don't know what it does, but it's minus 10 to everything except for technical attack. Looks like the essence was not touched. I think we started with a plus one. Or something. Oh, and it gave us elemental defense against water. Or did we start with that? I don't know. It doesn't matter, but we have two of these now. They're worth some money for very little effort. Let's check on our animals. Seem to be doing okay. And... I will say take. We're not going to grab one. I just want to see what they're... They're both at level two. All right, fair enough. We'll end up getting more and then just selling them. That's not a bad way to make money either. You just let them level up and then you sell them and some of them are worth a lot of money. Okay. Um, we're gonna go to Domina. We could go to other places, especially if you want to, you know, kind of let time pass so that your your creatures will level or your fruit will grow. Um, but if I go to Ghetto Grottoes, I think we trigger another quest, and I don't want to do that just yet. This is kind of a game that I'd like to have... I really do want, like, a ton of stuff to just play around with the forging and stuff, but it's, like, it's so... You know? It makes it so difficult to get money and to find materials and stuff. Alright, well, see, there you go. Wind cap. For using one wind cap and four clear feathers, you drive its price up from, I don't know what it was, I think four for a lucre to 26,643. Uh, yeah, we're gonna sell that. And then, uh, Podium Ribbon will sell the staff. Um, eh. um hmm. That's fine. We'll sell... Nah, we'll hold... Eh, whatever. But now, we have a lot of money. 50,000, give or take. Which, if you want to buy lots of materials or, or stuff, that's fine, too. Uh, well, let's head back to the home. Check our orchard to see if anything's grown. And then probably stop for this episode. then maybe I'll eat. Eat something as well. Technically, I skipped lunch today, but I had a snack earlier, so... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah! We got one! Cabadillo. Which brings us down to four, which means we can plant more fruit. I don't know what determines him giving you seeds. It might be time passing. 
well, we'll start with, um, we'll do a yellow and an orange. If you do yellow and red, it makes mostly orange stuff, but I think yellow and orange gives you more rare yellow stuff. Like honey onions. I think if you just do yellow, you get like citrus squid and spring annas typically, but... Um, yeah, I mean, whatever. You'll, it, it's just an RNG thing. You know, and some of the rare stuff you need, um... You need spiny, or spiky seeds or whatever for anyway, so it's, you know... Alright, save over this one, and then we'll stop. Alright guys, well that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Any questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I'm always interested in what people have to say, even if they're... Um, even if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong about stuff, let me know. Um, you know, unfortunately, BitChute has, like, notifications don't work. BitChute doesn't work very well in general, unfortunately. Um, sad. I think it's a really smart idea, honestly. Um, but yeah, notifications for some reason don't work. So if you leave a comment on BitChute, I, I probably won't see it. If you want to get my if you want to get my attention, YouTube's probably the best way. Even though they're sometimes deleting comments as well, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, even critical comments, like I, you know, leave them up. I don't mind. I don't mind. That's the only way I'm gonna either be better or get a thicker skin or, or whatever. So, uh, yeah. Um, what is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? For me, I'm gonna say this coffee. It's uh, I was in the grocery store and I just saw like Dunkin Donuts coffee and I was like eh, okay all right so it was like an impulse buy generic Dunkin Donuts coffee in it it tastes generic but it's not terrible it's not terrible um it's good to have new things I think I've had it before um but it's it's been a while so always good to have new experiences or new old experiences uh but that's my unique positive moment hopefully your guys are just good if not better hopefully better of course and i hope to see you guys next time until then guys take care <laughs>